previously in Chapter 3. You must recover the lost relics of Camelot. Where do we begin, Merlin? Our first destination is the Enchanted Forest. There lies the Sword of Excalibur, hidden beneath the roots of the World Tree. Reveal yourself, Excalibur. As Galahad grasped its hilt, he felt its power surge through him. One relic secured. Tell us our next destination, Merlin. We must journey to the Isle of the Lost Grail. There, the Grail of Healing awaits. But it's guarded by a dragon of ancient fury. The quest had only just begun. And the fate of Camelot hung in the balance. The knight stood at the edge of the mystical Isle of the Lost Grail, their swords gleaming in the dim light. The wind whispered ancient secrets and the distant roar of waves masked the heartbeats of brave men. As they ventured further onto the island, the ground quaked beneath their feet. From the shadows emerged a colossal dragon, its scales glinting like polished emeralds, and eyes aflame with a hunger for battle. Sir Galahad, clutching the sword of Escalabar, stepped forward with unwavering resolve. We seek the Grail of Healing, noble dragon. We do not wish to harm you. The dragon's thunderous voice echoed across the island. You are brave, Knights of Avalon. To prove your worth, you must answer my riddle. Sir Lancelot raised an eyebrow. Very well. Ask your riddle. The dragon's eyes narrowed as it spoke, its voice filled with riddles. I am a vessel without hinges, lock or lid, yet within my walls a golden treasure is hid. What am I? Sir Percival scratched his chin. A riddle within a riddle. It's an egg, isn't it? The dragon let out a thunderous laugh. You are correct, noble knight. You have proven your wit. You may pass. With the dragon's permission, the knights continued deeper into the heart of the isle. There, they found a hidden grove bathed in the ethereal light. At its center, atop a pedestal, rested the Grail of Healing. Sir Galahad, his heart pure and determined, approached the Grail. I am Galahad, and I seek the Grail to heal the wounds of Camelot. As he touched the Grail, a radiant light enveloped him. He knew that his healing powers would be instrumental in the battles ahead. But as the knights left the aisle, the dragon's voice echoed in the distance, a hunting reminder. The path to victory is not always paved with valor, Knights of Avalon. Back in Camelot, King Arthur welcomed the returning knights in the Grail of Healing. This is a powerful artifact, one that may save us in the trials to come. Marlin's gaze held a hint of concern. But remember, there are darker forces at play, and the true test of your unity lies ahead. With the Grail of Healing in their possession, the Knights of Avalon had secured another relic on their quest. Yet, Dragon's anonymous words lingered, hinting at the challenges that lay ahead. The battle for Camelot was far from over. This concludes Chapter 4 of the Knights of Avalon, featuring actress Brianna M. Thomas as our guest storyteller. Kindly drop a review for Chapter 4 below and let us know. Remember, your reviews and ratings are crucial to us. Thanks for listening.